Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel BKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about RTE life cycle. There are two key functions in the RTE life cycle. One is RTE start, another one is RTE stop. Today, we will uncover the secret behind RTE start and RTE stop. First, we can start to discuss about AutoSAR. AutoSAR is nothing about, it is an automotive open system architecture. It is a layered architecture. It has three layers. One is application layer, another one is RTE, another one is basic software. So what is RTE will do? RTE connects application software component with basic software and other software component. In application layer, whenever you want to communicate between one software component to another software component, that should happen via RTE. Before RTE can execute runnables, it must be initialized and started. Similarly, before shutting down, it must be stopped to ensure no pending tasks or communications are left hanging. So, who will take care of RTE initialization and RTE shutdown? That's where we need to know about RTE start and RTE stop. So, first we can start with what is RTE start. So, it will initialize and activate the RTE. And this will get called only once, usually during ECU startup. Mainly, according to AutoSAR, this will get started in the ECU startup phase 2. What it does internally? This will internally initialize RTE variables, meaning tools, buffers for inter software component communication, and it will manage mode management variables, and it will activate communication, start sending or receiving signals, inter runnable variables, and this will initialize ports and connectors, and this will enable events and scheduling, start listening for timing events, operation invoked events, and other events. You can see the simple RT start definition here, but it depends on your project and whatever the stack you are purchased for your project. So there you can see that when your RT start is getting called and what are the things are happening inside RT start. So basically we will set one variable there we will set as a true that's called as RTE initialized variable. So based on that all other action will start to happen. So, what are the points we have to keep in our mind when we are thinking about a RTE start? So, the ECU state manager calls the startup routines RTE start of the RTE at the end of startup phase 2 when the OS is available and all basic software modules are initialized. Before the RTE is initialized completely, there is only limited capability of RTE to handle incoming data from POM. The call of RTE start shall be executed on every core independently. This is a typical call sequence for RTE start and RTE stop. So, according to AutoSAR, this will be triggered from ECUM and after schedule initialization. RTE stop. In RTE stop, what it will do is, it will stop or shut down the RTE. That means it will stop all runnable execution and communication. And this will get called during ECU shutdown or when a safe state is needed. So, what it does internally, it will stop event processing, meaning prevents any new runnable activations. And this will release the resources, free memory buffer, communication handles, and it will close communication. It will ensure pending signals or messages are handled. Finally, this will set RTE to inactive state. So, what all are the things we have to keep in our mind when we are thinking about a RTE stop? So, the RTE shall not activate, start or release runnable entity on a core after RTE stop has been called on this core. And the finalization routine RTE stop of the RTE is called by the ECU state manager at the beginning of shutdown phase 1 when the OS is still available. The very important point to note here is RTE does not kill the task during the running state of the runnables. And RTE shall ignore incoming client server communication request before RTE is initialized completely and when it is stopped. Incoming data and even from the sender receiver communication shall be ignored before RTE is initialized completely and when it is stopped. So, this is how RTE stop will behave. And here you can see one simple definition what will be there inside the RTE stop. What are the key points we have to remember from this video? RTE start means it's just switch on the RTE brain. Stop means power of the RTE brain. So both are generated by the RTE generator and their content depends on your software component and even configuration. Also, whatever the base software stack or whatever the RTE you purchase from that, based on that, these other things will be decided. 
and they are not OS function. They are autos or RTE API functions. So hope you have a clarity and idea about RTE lifecycle overview. So remember RTE start wakes up your autos or application world and the RTE stop puts it to bed safely. Without them, your software would be like an engine without an ignition switch. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.